It's often said that first time visitors to Wentworth Woodhouse mistook the stables building for the house itself. And that's not surprising when you see the scale of the stables buildings. No country estate would have been complete without stables to accommodate the horses, and Wentworth Woodhouse was no exception. The original stables are thought to have been at the east end of the house's north tower, but in 1766 all this was to change. Charles Watson Wentworth, second Marquess of Rockingham, who was to hold the position of Prime Minister twice, was a lover of horses. He employed the services of John Carr, the leading architect in the north of England, to design a new stables and riding school complex, and this is the one we see today. There was also a saddlery and a courtyard, with an enormous fountain for the horses to drink from. It was an extensive project, started in 1766, but not completed until 1783. Accounts show the purchase of 1194 feet of English fir timber, oak timber, stone from the nearby Hoover Quarry, and 499 feet of glass. Throughout the early years of the building project, over 40 workmen were on the site, including 20 masons and 13 carpenters. In December 1767, early building costs totaled over 639 pounds. That's approximately 75,000 pounds today, a huge sum. And there were still 16 more years of cost to come. Hearsay is the money for the project came from the racing success of Whistlejacket, one of the Marquess's horses famously painted by George Stubbs. He only lost four races throughout his racing career. But Whistlejacket was not bought by the Marquess until about 1756 and retired to stud only three years later. But it's a better story than the more mundane suggestion of the funds generated through agriculture and forestry. Once completed, Wentworth's private stables were the largest in England and remained so until the late 1900s. The stables had space for 84 horses, plus coaches, carriages and dog carts, as well as accommodation for grooms, coachmen and other employees. The census of 1891 recorded 30 people living there. When the motor car gradually replaced the horse as the main means of transport, the stables took on a new role. The 7th Earl Fitzwilliam had a keen interest in motor cars, and early in the 20th century, the old carriage houses were converted into palatial garages. As fewer staff were needed, rooms became vacant, and from 1930, the eastern half of the North Range became estate offices with plans for a monument room. During World War II, Wentworth Woodhouse stables were requisitioned by the Military Intelligence Corps. By late October 1942, the depot, quartermaster, and other ranks occupied the stables, while the HQ and officers moved into the main house six months later. The cookhouse in Naffy, or canteen, took over the riding school, and the men were accommodated in Nissen huts opposite the stables, where derelict student accommodation now stands. In addition, the stables also provided accommodation for two-wheeled machines, motorcycles. The Army used it as the base for a three-week motorcycle training course recorded on film. The course recruits were housed in the stables, their quarters named after famous British battles. Accommodation was described as quite luxurious, with single beds and hot and cold water. The stables were to undergo significant change as plans were drawn up for an extensive conversion to suit the needs of the Lady Mabel College of Physical Education. The buildings were transformed into classrooms, a laboratory, libraries, and staff and student accommodation. The writing school became a gymnasium and additional changing rooms, showers and toilets were added in what would have been an open courtyard. The stables were to remain in educational use until the college was taken over by Sheffield Polytechnic in 1979. The Polytechnic later became part of Sheffield Hallam University, but the university relinquished the lease on the house and stables in 1988. From this point, Wentworth Woodhouse was to go through a long period of decline, and the stables were to suffer the same fate. But all this is about to change. When Wentworth Woodhouse Preservation Trust acquired the site in 2017, it was very clear that the urgent attention had to focus on the house and its seriously leaking roof. But the stables are now fixed as our next major renovation project. Plans are in place to transform the site 
and find new and sustainable uses for all these amazing buildings. A new car park for 200 cars will replace the old college swimming pool here and this will lead into the Mews courtyard of the stables from which visitors will be able to access a shop and a cafe. This will then become the main visitor entrance to the house and the gardens. Outdoor events areas will be developed and the riding school will be a magnificent indoor events venue capable of holding around 600 people. And all this is just for starters. It's an enormous project which will be completed over time to the highest standards deserving of this Grade 1 listed building, so it will take time. Slowly it will bring the stables back to life and the silence that has hung over the area for so long will be replaced by voices, footsteps and laughter and perhaps even the occasional sound of horses' hooves here on the cobbles.